Hey, what's up everyone? This is Robert Smart here. This is going to blow your mind. I've been working on a project over the last few weeks and I've been using FreePix AI image generator and man, I am impressed. Really, I am. So I'm on their website currently and as you can see, we've got um, these four different, well, there's quite a few you can go through. But the one that I'm more interested in is this AI image generator. So I've been, like I said, I've been working on this project and I've been generating images over the last while. Um, as you can see, I'm um, on the, you can, if you click on explore here at the top, you can see all the images that were generated by people um, over the last while, all right? Which is quite phenomenal. Um, so if, if I click on create, you can see on the left hand side, we've got this tab. Um, where if you click we will we, i'll look into this now but if you click on reimagine you can click an image and then it will just create different variants of that image for you like the imagination subtle wild um mode style all of those things so i'm going to just go through to generate um and i'm going to show you how i've generated a bunch of images so i'm going to just add this prompt in here one of the things that i've learned um, what this image generator is to that your prompt prompt needs to be very specific and so that and it will help you out a lot so if i click put, add this prompt in there you can go to mode and here you can click on mystic flux classic so if i click on mystic you can see um they've got mystic 1.0 2.5 2.5 flexible so i've just been they've recently updated the the platform or the software so these are, these are new, as you can see, I've just been using Mystic 1.0. Then we have Flux, um, you get all of these as well as Classic. So I've just been use, using Mystic for all, all the, the images that I needed to generate. And you can see these are all the kind of images that I was looking towards generating for this project I was working on. Then we go to Style, and here you have your different styles, your photography style, dark, surreal, nature, uh, natural, um, these are all, some of them are still, um, they, they are new, because uh, I don't remember all of this, this, but here you can add some illustration styles as well, you can add 3D as well, but the one that I'm mostly interested in is in, in the photo, right, and then the effects, you have color, um, camera, right, lighting, so I'm just going to choose one for now, I'm just going to say, um indoor light right a photo the effects i want indoor light um and then i'm just going to create two images at at the size uh i'm going to click on standard right and so if i hover over this because i've got a paid account you can see i can i can generate uh 1947 images that i can still generate so i'm going to click on generate and usually it takes a couple of seconds. You just need to give it a couple of seconds to generate the images. Um, while, I, while I wait for this, this to generate, you can go to the top here, it says edit, right? Um, where you can edit the images, or I'll, I'll show you that now, and that's just my creations. And so uh, the prompt that I given it is, children in the school lab busy with the science project should look super realistic and diverse, natural light coming into the classroom through the window, 8K image, in the background is some science equipment. And so well, let's see what, what, what they're going to uh, generate. So if I click on it, you can see it goes automatically uh, to um, edit. Now this looks amazing, all right? It looks amazing, so super real, as you can see. Um, on the left-hand side, obviously, what I've noticed with FreePick that sometimes um, the the hand might not look right or the the eye or something there's always seem to be something wrong with this image like you can see over there the eyes doesn't look right the hands um, and so if you have a problem with those kind of tools you can just click on the retouch and I am just going to do this quickly All right um, and then I can just say retouch and it will generate a few images for me that well, <laughs> see, sometimes it's weird. Anyway, you can see what you can do with these things, right? And it just looks so amazing. Um, beats all the, the Photoshop that you have to do and all of those things. 
Um, then you can click on expand and this is if I say uh, click on that um, uh, this is actually new as well um, but yeah so you can zoom in zoom out you can upscale them all right 4k 2k all of these things but this is for me all right this was one I was testing out the other day as well you can see the hands there as well so I am I don't know about you but I'm planning on using it a lot because it really saves up as a designer it really saves a lot of time trying to find images going through all of these stock photography um, websites and trying to find unique specific images for projects that I'm working on um, and you can see with this uh, the kind of images that I was looking for right then I was just trying to get the perfect image so let me know in the comments down below what you think of FreePix AI image generator if you have played around with it and how you would use it in your projects yeah I hope that was valuable man just